time. And uh, today he's going to talk to us uh, about optimizing the success of revision in Thanks, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you. Good morning, David. Today is about the um, the concept that I uh, use in my practice to work with it for the kids that have a failed case and how to make the complication. The nightmare for the back surgeon is to get the failed case. This is my ideal option. On the on the left side, is it show normal anatomy, but on the right side, is it show the big ostium. This is show the bone on the lower one, lower to dirt and upper one dirt that be removed and the flap uh, on this one is a flap made that more mucosa and nas and nasal mucosa suture together. In from 2004-2008 I um, have some my series and have done um, for 256 cases and review on that case I found that 10% of my kids have failed, and all 10% I revived by myself. And I found that most of the kids have the, the problem, the cause of the complication is from the uh, inadequate of the bony osteum and the flat mucosa approximation. Um, this is show the um, ideal flap. This is show the osteum that's too low, right? And this is the osteum that's too high. And this is show the osteum and the uh, fibrosis. This is a practical point that uh, I have noticed. The, I would notice uh, two points. The first point is notice about the fibrosis along the lateral side of the bone. And the, the, other, side, the other point is the fibrosis on the nasal side. This is uh, lead to the complication. And the other thing, the, the other important thing is the, the upper one third of the bone. If you do not remove this one, you're going to get approximately 5 to 10 percent that fail. Um, I will show how to remove uh, the upper one third. The lower two third that can be removed easily with the correction wrong jerk. But the upper one third, um, the, for the beginner lacrimal surgeon may be missed or they have a difficult time to remove. This is a practical test that is called 45 degree test that we can use during the operation with a couple seconds. When we, we apply the blow uh, in the horizontal, and then um, we, um, if we can pass the tip of the uh, bowman pole uh, through the lacrimal mucosa and to uh, pass the bone and to the septal mucosa, that means uh, we can, uh, uh, S0 degree is positive. And then we rotate uh, 45 degree up, and we show the bone in the upper one third that hasn't been removed yet. And next step, uh, I my my technique, I use a uh, cell and the uh, mallet to remove the upper one third because this one is practical and easy. With the a uh, couple time with the cell you can remove the big piece of the upper one third. But at this point, you need to be careful not too high and not too possibly because some CSF may leave. Yeah. And this is show how to do the 45 degree test at zero, zero degree. And then you look at downward and upper uh, and approach the tip about 45 degree. This is can apply to use either with the actual DCR and the endoscopic DCR. And when you do up 45 degree and the chip can pass through the removal bone and touch to the septal people, that means the 45 is positive. This uh, next, I will show um, the approach to the uh, small osteum. This is show the, the, the osteum that's too high and and this one may lead to the sun syndrome later. Um, in this case, when, when we put the silicone stand, it's gonna be, um, uh, but the patients still can help, uh, still have the uh, uh, tearing. This is show the very, very tiny opening of the nasal osteum. And uh, the point is to observe how much for the scar tissue and how, and if the bone is adequate or not. This is a two practical point. And 
and when uh, the Vietnam, uh still yes. have the cheering because of the ASEAN is so small. And next, uh, apply the 45 degree chair with a couple of seconds. With this one, you can check that if the previous surgeon did a good job or not. And and if this one and you wrote it, and we cannot pass the let's show the positive, and then start to remove. In this case, they have the fibrosis either on the nasal side and either on the um, uh, lacrimal side. And after we remove the bone, you can see the lacrimal mucus are quite thick and have a lot of scar on the uh, uh, medial side of the lacrimal sac. If you leave like this and put the silicone stand, probably the flap will be rotated, ideally the flap will be rotated posteriorly, and then you're gonna have the failure again. Yeah. So I decide to suture the flap with the anterior flap with the 6 o -like heel, and then you bend the needle from 135 degree to be 180 degree because the needle with the 180 degree can work really well in the small cavity. And then suture the upper apple suture. And what suture may be not enough. I personally suture in every case and to suture for the anterior flap because the ones um, the, the benefit of the suture flap is to uh, get the primary intention healing and promote the healing and um, um, close the backbone and uh, prevent the bleeding and promote the patient um, co uh, comfortable after the surgery. And after this one, um, we may in, uh, suture the posterior flap if we have the time and have enough uh, mucosa to suture. And then I suture. Uh, and I, I inject the kinocot for uh, at the flap and put the gel form for champagnat and put the silicone. But um, um, in the previous day I use the MMC, but nowadays I do not use. Um, next, um, uh, I would show the mechanism for the failed DCR. This is the the, the case that have removed the moderate um, uh, side of the uh, osteum. But the nasal mucosa was removed too much. This is a, and do not and did not suture. This is lead to the poor approximation. What gonna happen when the healing will either heal with the scar tissue and the scar tissue come from up and down and close and get the contraction at the silicone stand. And then when we remove the stand, we have the and and if if the osteum is still pay ten, we got the sum syndrome. But if the osteum not pay attention, we got totally occlusion and we got the failed case. And this is the, the, the mechanism of the failed DCR. So if we have the pay attention, we have the thick, the thick scar here, and we have the pay attention of the lacrimal mucosa and the osteum is pretty low, we can choose to use the suture flap. This is show how to suture in the case that have the the scar tissue only on the nasal side. We have you see the uh, osteum that's pretty high, and and in the lower part is have the thick scar, but on the uh, lateral side of the lacrimal side is good. So you just cut in the vertical cut, uh, but you you can observe for the very very pretty thick scar. But when we cut, we gonna see the internal lacrimal mucosa quite good and well healed. So we just put the posterior flap backward and then suture with one simple 6 o yq and then we can observe the the, the mucosa inside is is perfect so we with the simple one suture this can correct for the sum syndrome and we have in this case we have only to remove the bone so it can be practical and easy for the surgeon but in some cases that have a fixed scar on the uh, Lateral, uh, on the lacrimal side, we have to remove either bone and suture the flap. And this is lastly, it shows the case that we remove good uh, bony osseum, but at the wall, at the side of the um, wall of the um, it has the big, big contract suture contract uh, osseum. This one is have the uh, big and thick single tissue tissue. So um, the patients still have to stand, but this is contract, so, and we can it have the difficulty time to pass the needle. So this one still have the cheering. And this is the video show um, how fake it is and how difficult to pass the chip of the uh, side linking. When we try to irrigate 
um, still have the theory and the opinion still complain. At uh, some point that I would mention on this case, they have the thick one first, they have the thick scar, and next second they have the, some cannulation tissue on the back part. And how to correct this one? Make the just make the vertical cut and make the flap to be anterior flap and posterior flap and put anteriorly and posteriorly and use a thick sickle uh, blade cut in vertically and then push it backward and uh, anteriorly and then uh, you can use a mechanical chip of the suction tip to put something like mechanical push and sometimes um, remove the cannulation tissue and eject the steroid. That would be very practical and simple for correction, the severe contract of the osseum. And this is show the, the, the uh, uh, eject the steroid. You may eject um, uh, in the anterior and posterior and avoid uh, too, not too much. And 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 this is show the some cannulation tissue on the back on the on the posterior aspect and we can bring the patient back monthly and remove the scar tissue and remove uh, some cannulation in clinic. This is show the big osseum after the revision. So this is uh, pre and post of the uh, revision surgery. For, so conclusion, I I would use uh, two concept. The first concept is the bone concept, and the second concept is the flat concept. Yes, thank you.